Praise the Lord, mighty prophet of the Lord. Okay, now, this is the leading of the Lord now. The Lord is going to cause me to call for a national day of repentance in this country. There will be a national day of repentance in this country. Why? Because whenever the Lord speaks and commands repentance, a national repentance, it must be obeyed. The Lord is not man. He's not a human being. And Kenya is the one that must bow down and worship the Lord. The Lord cannot bow down and worship Kenya. Kenya was created by the Lord with all the people in the country. They were all created by Jehovah. There must be a beginning for turning away from sin, the sin and wickedness that might destroy them in the coming elections. So there is going to be a national day of repentance that will be observed in this country. And I'm going to call for one day when everybody is going to assemble at Uhuru Park. That they may repent before the Lord Jehovah in the name of Jesus. The mighty, mighty name of Jesus. Not any other gods. I'm talking about Christ Jesus the Lord and repenting to Jehovah. The mighty God of Israel. The creator of Kenya. Only he created Kenya. No other God created Kenya. So there is going to be a special day that will be announced after the Nakuru meeting. After the big Nakuru meeting, there's going to be a special day that will be announced before the general elections. Where everybody will observe the three days of prayer and fasting. Prayer and fasting and separating out for the Lord and then culminating into one last day of observing a sacred assembly. And in that meeting, everybody will be present to repent and turn away from sin, that the Lord may save this country, to turn away from the wickedness that you see brewing in the country, that everybody may repent back to the Lord, that the Lord may save the nation of Kenya. Only Jehovah is the protector of Kenya. There is no other protector of Kenya. If the Lord don't keep a country, don't protect the land, the watchmen all wait in vain. They watch in vain. So there is going to be a massive day of national repentance, a national repentance that will be observed after the Nakuru meeting, before the next general election, where everybody plus all the leaders will be assembled, that they may go down on their knees and bellies and repent unto the Lord uh, to remember the land, to make sure the peace in this land is preserved, sustained, that is what the Lord has led on this day. That is the counsel and the leading of the Lord. That's what he has led into your life today. And so the morning, the prayer and morning will continue. But now people can disengage and it will take place on Sunday across this land. Over 30 million people across the country this coming Sunday will be in their churches they will be repenting in their sackcloth before the Lord. This coming Sunday will be dedicated to that repentance, but there will be a national repentance before 2017 comes. That is the leadership and the leading of the Lord. Whenever the Lord speaks, it's beautiful to obey. And in the process, the Lord, the protector, the creator and protector of Kenya will be able now to deliver Kenya. And this land will fear God, respect God, honor God, love God Almighty. His name is Jehovah, the God of Israel. There is no other God except Jehovah, the God of Israel. And Christ Jesus is the Redeemer and Savior of men. So he alone will redeem Kenya now. And I am his servant. The Lord bless you all. You can now disengage from your churches and go back home. And those who are fasting, you can now break your fast tonight. Tonight you can now disengage and break your fasts as you wait for Sunday. Sunday will be a day of total repentance across all the churches in this country. 
Those who don't want to repent, up to them, up to them. That's up to you. But the God fearing, which is almost more than between, we don't know how many, maybe probably 30 million people in this country will be bowed down and they'll be repenting this coming Sunday. That the Lord may have mercy on this land. That is the leading and the leadership of the Lord. It is the counsel of Jehovah that I have spoken to you today. Shalom, shalom, shalom of Raha, Todarabah, Todalahem.